हेलो स्टूडेंट नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाट इज मीन बाय फाइनाइट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट द व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड व्हाट आर द करंट सिचुएशन और नाउ वर्ड इज ट्रिक फॉर द सॉल्विंग दैट प्रॉब्लम व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स मींस टाइप ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम एंड हाउ यू सॉल्व दैट द प्रॉब्लम एंड फाइनाइट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस इज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मेथड Use nowadays in a problem solving techniques. Okay, then what is meant by FEA? FEA means finite element analysis. It's a numerical method for solving the engineering, mathematical, and physical problem. Okay, for solving the mathematical physics problem, engineering problem, the finite element analysis is used, and it is a numerical method. Okay, useful. for problem with a complicated geometry loading and material properties means it is a very useful at the complex geometry means geometry is a very complicated loading condition are different means there is a temperature there is a some forces there is some pressures at that time the various of complex type of loading condition is solved in a fea it is easy way to solve in fea material properties means in a single geometry you have different different type of material means in rubber it is a plastic it is a wood it is a metal these are the mix of materials to solve the problem it means complicated material properties this all types of complex geometries like like geometry loading and material properties solve in fea okay the main purpose of fea if you see in the analytical solution analytical solution means hand calculation in that the stress stress analysis for truss beam and other simple structure are carried out means the stress analysis if you carried out for the beam structure for the stresses and simple structure it, it has been calculated by the analytical solution but in analytical solution beam simplified as a line segment means beam is a consider as a line in analytical solution you seen that the stress problem in mechanics if you solve the mechanics problem in first year mechanics okay engineering mechanics then at that time we solve the problem of a truss by using the beam is simplified in a line it is a same cross sectional area means if the truss is having circular cross section area then all in a truss all element are in same cross section area okay that problem is solved by the analytical method but in fea fea design is a most more complex means uh, design geometry is more complex means for the solution of beam truss if cross section is not same then also you can easily solve that problem in fea okay to understand the physical behavior of complex object means strength heat transfer capability fluid flow means if there is a very complex shape in a pipe then you can calculate the fluid fluid flow by using the cfd means computational fluid dynamics it is a part of a fea okay or you can directly calculate the heat transfer rate or heat transfer capacity of any object okay predict the performance behavior means you can calculate the how many number of cycle this part is being in a same format been it not be failure okay this accuracy you can find by the fea by analytical solution this at to this accuracy you can not get the solution or many time you get the solution but it's required the more time or it is a more complex to solve that problem okay that's why fea is very important to solution of complicated geometry complicated material properties or complicated in nature of that part okay
कॉमन एफ ई एप्लीकेशन एफ ई वेयर एफ ई इज यूज मेकेनिकल एरोस्पेस सिविल ऑटोमोबाइल ओके देन स्ट्रक्चरल स्ट्रेस एनालिसिस स्टैटिक डायनामिक एनालिसिस लीनियर नॉन लीनियर एनालिसिस मीन्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड स्ट्रेस एनालिसिस यू कैन यूज द एफ ई ए स्टैटिक प्रॉब्लम मीन्स अ प्रॉब्लम हैविंग नो टाइम डिपेंडेंस यू सी दैट we already learned that what is the static analysis what is the dynamic analysis in last lecture okay linear problem or non linear problem linear means linear in nature the material is having linear in nature if you consider the beam of steel material it is a linear in nature but the beam of rubber it is a non linear in nature fluid flow heat transfer electromagnetic field soil mechanics then Bio biochemicals. These are the various field where the FEA is commonly used. Okay. FEA discretization. Complex object. Simple analysis means FEA divided this problem into two types: simple analysis or complex object. Complex object is object having complex in geometry, complex in material. complex in forces means that part having different type of forces applied on the the, the geometry means the force is a, in the form of pressure force in the form of temperature force in the form of uh, any external part weight also okay then what is fe do fe is a real world problem it simplified that the physical model then co convert this model into the mathematical model and discretization that model discretization means converted this a whole geometry in a small 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 geometries and this one length of that geometry is a unit means it a un one single what is the discretization last slide we see that the if you is a converted that geometry into discretization model okay the model by dividing into the equivalent system of many smaller bodies or the unit bodies or it is also consider as a finite element okay interconnected at a point common to the two or more element two or more element interconnected to with the each other by the node or nodal points okay by the boundary line or the surfaces means the discretization means one whole body one whole body converted into or divided into the small small smaller smaller body okay very number of number of many smaller bodies okay this is called the discretization but this body or that small body interconnected with each other at a one point this point is called as a nodal point or node we go forward for the simplify that discretization okay first type of element 1d element it's a line element 2d plane 2d element 3d solid it's a solid element okay at that this line is a element and this point is called as a node if we consider the rectangle is divided into the two part first one is a triangle second one is a triangle this is a connected by the element and element is interconnected with each other by the node okay at here it's also you can say that the node and element discretization it is a main object divided into element and these element connected with each other by the node okay and these we can find out the stress and strain at that node means you get the nodal solution if stress and strain or displacement is taken consider at the element it it gave us the elemental solution in fea you got the both both the solution in nodal solution you also got and 
in element solution you also got the elemental solution okay means discretization means this object converted into element and nodes this called the discretization and each element connected with the other element at the nodal points or nodes example of a fa 1d element you seen that the, it is a stress it's a 1d element it don't have the second direction it's a 1d element but the limitation of 1d element is the you can select the only same or single cross sectional area okay example of 2d element a plate with a hole it's a 2d element example of 3d element it's a what is the automobile part it's a automobile part what is the name it's a connecting rod okay it's a connecting rod here we see that the there is an one node and elements are connected with each other means it's a discretization solution next one is the advantage of fea irregular bodies means regular shape body is not available then irregular body is a directly solved general loading loading condition different material means if a cantilever beam subjected to a point load then if beam is having different material means at the bottom of the beam is a metal in the middle of beam it's a rubber in the top of the beam it's a wood then this problem very simply solve in a fea different types of boundary condition variable element size means element size may be changes easy modification if we can modify the size of that beam we can modify the uh, cross section of the beam it is a easy to solve that problem okay dynamic and non linear problem also solve in fea principle of fea the finite element method or finite element analysis both are the same finite element method or finite element analysis is a computational technique to use the op obtain approximate solution of the boundary value problem in engineering means if any problem having a boundary conditions you can get the approximate solution by using the fea okay fea divided this shape or the geometry into the small number of pieces okay and then solve the small 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 particles and then you get the whole result okay that's why it gives the approximate solution okay boundary value problem are called as a field problem means field you can consider the one system if you think at the 12th level science is a system system means you can consider the space and in that space you can consider the various types of object means it is under the that system or that's any object is a outside of that that space it's a outside of the system then same here the field field is a consider a geometry or the any whole assembly of that machine if machine is having various number of uh, part in this then it is a consider as a field okay it's a boundary boundary conditions okay boundary condition is the value of a problem are called as a field problem means uh, if there is a boundary condition then this problem are so called as a field problem and field problem is a domain of interest and most often represent the physical structure means the field is a domain of interest means where you can concentrated is the field means a field is a domain okay boundary conditions are specified value of the fields Man, means boundary conditions are specified for that field only fields means a system for that system boundary conditions are given in the fea means fea is the approximate solution with the help of boundary condition means fea gives the approximate solution by 
the consideration of boundary condition but the boundary condition is uh, required the field and field having the interesting domain means a field is a domain where you can got the solution or what what is your the system means at that system various boundary conditions are apply but that boundary condition are particularly for that field or that system only okay then what is the next in next lecture we study about the safe function degree of freedom general procedure for the solving the finite element analysis what is the mean by the stiffness matrix linear spring as a finite element analysis and what are the boundary condition and how you apply the boundary condition for the particular problem okay in next lecture we see the various in we go through the this point okay thank you thank you for watching this lecture